right, so uh, right here we have a protractor. Um, we're gonna measure the uh, the angle and the drive shaft from. We're gonna we're gonna do right here um, all the way from after the carrier bearing to the rear differential, um, just to get a the basic overview of uh, how to measure the angle and uh, the drive shaft. As you can see right here, we want the, the universal joints to be perpendicular to the ground. So now it's facing straight down. Um, and uh, when we come in, um, we're gonna have an electronic protractor, uh, find a level surface, zero it out. Um, and once you uh, come in to do your measurement, you're actually going to measure off the, the universal joint cap. So on the bottom side. So as you can see, this one's on the front part of the drive shaft. So that's going to be the one that's uh, traditionally connected to the transmission or the transfer case. And then you're going to take your uh, socket or anything flat, cylindrical, that'll fit on the cap side. And you're just going to put it on the cap. So. As you can see, we're going to measure that. I'm um, just doing demonstration purposes, so uh, it's not going to be exact. So whenever we go on, we're going to measure that. And then you're going to measure the... Uh, that's the transmission side, so now we're going to measure the drive shaft side. So you're going to turn it 90 degrees, and you're going to have the, the drive shaft side facing down. So once you have that facing down, you're going to do the same measurement, and then you're going to subtract the two and get your uh, your angle for the front part of the drive shaft. And then you're going to replicate and do the same exact thing to the back side, but you're going to measure on the differential side and the drive shaft side. So once you get that, you should have pretty similar um, degrees on each one. So. Um, as you can see, this drive shaft, uh, it's out of the carrier bearing. Um, but um, traditionally, you'd have a, a slight angle going down. And then once you have that, you're going to compare the two. And the two angles are supposed to be within a degree. Because that cancels each other out, and they uh, they spin better, and uh, the velocity of the drive shaft is correct. Thank you for watching, my